Hello there, dear friends, and welcome once again to the Relaxed Fantasy Review. On this channel, we spend our time looking at fantasy of all sorts, from books to movies to video games, and applying the characters within into the tabletop game Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. And today, we're going to be looking at a really interesting character from a movie that many of you know. From the movie Moana of the Disney lore, we have a look at the demigod known as Maui. Now, Maui claims to be a god, a demigod, who has changed the world, created islands, changed the sun, changed the winds. But in reality, what can Maui do? See, his stories don't really add up to the things we see him do. And in reality, I think he's nothing more than just a hero with a super powerful magical item. But we'll get into that in a sec. Let's have a look, see what I make of him. See, Maui is actually a human. He's a regular person who has a power that comes from his monster slayer ranger side. Yes, you heard that right. I think Maui's a, a ranger. He actually is a sailor for the background, but... His big thing is that he's an adventurer that fights big creatures and uses mag a combination of magic and combat to do so, which sounds a lot like a ranger to me, especially given his tracking and navigating abilities. That's what rangers do. His alignment is chaotic neutral. He's not bad inherently, but he's also not good inherently. He just kind of does whatever he wants. His stats do say a little bit for him, though. His strength is that of 25. He is incredibly powerful, and this is the only really unhuman thing he can do, is that he is really, really strong. Uh, his dexterity is 12. He's okay with his speed, but not great. His constitution is 18, being pretty tanky. But he's not that smart. His intelligence is 10. And he's not that wise. His wisdom is 10. But he does have a great charisma streak. Uh, he is very good at convincing people to do things for him, so I gave him a charisma of 18. As far as his saving throws go, he is proficient in strength and dex and constitution. He's proficient in all three, uh, thanks to a feat that he has. And his skills, uh, he is skilled in athletics. He has proficiency in athletics, deception, because duh, history, nature, perception, performance, religion, and he has expertise in the survival skill, again, because of being a ranger. Uh, languages, he speaks a few. Uh, he speaks common. He also speaks celestial, since he can speak to the gods, as well as Aquan and Terran, the language of water and earth elementals. He's proficient in all weapons, as well as proficient in light and medium armor and shields, although he doesn't really use them. And he is proficient in water vehicles, which is kind of important, considering that he's a boatmaster. Now, he has an armor class of 15, thanks to the feature Unarmored Defense. Rangers don't normally get this, but considering that he is tough enough to stand up in a fight and doesn't wear armor, I decided to give him this from the Barbarian side, and he uses his constitution and his dexterity to calculate his AC. So 15 in this case. His speed is 35, thanks to his ranger features, and he has a hit points of 104. He's level 10. He's a powerful hero, but he's no demigod, at least not based on what we can see. Uh, his features is that he has toughness uh, and the resilient feature, which gave him the extra saving throw. He has the deft explorer power from rangerness, although I made sure to make it clear, clear that he does not have a swim speed because apparently Maui can't swim, weirdly. He can use Favored Foe, and his fighting style is Druidic Warrior, giving him some Druid cantrips. He has the Primal Awareness power, giving him some uh, magic that lets him sense the world around him. He can use Extra Attack, and he has Land Stride, Hide in Plain Sight, all powers that make sense for Maui when it comes to moving over uh, different terrains and all that. He has the Hunter's Sense 
and the Slayer's Prey and the Supernatural Defense, showing that Maui is actually really good at fighting large creatures. Um, so yeah, he, he deserves at least that. Maui, um, at least based on the information we have in the movie, uh, is 5,000-ish years old. About six foot six, weighing 500 pounds of solid muscle, bronze skin, light brown hair, and brown eyes, which makes him a very, like, handsome buff man. But then comes his unique magical item, Maui's fish hook. His fish hook is a very, very special weapon, which was granted to him by the gods, a legendary magic item. It is a plus three melee weapon that also adds plus three to strength and plus three to strength ability checks and saving throws. So basically it makes him way stronger, hit way harder, and resist things way better on top of being a plus three weapon. He actually gets a plus 14 to hit with this thing, and I made it do a 2d10 damage on a hit uh, with a plus 10 to the damage on top of that. It's, it's a very potent. But it also acts as his spell casting focus and gives him one more unique ability. It gives him the Druid Wild Shape power, specifically Combat Wild Shape and the Moon Circle forms. It effectively takes this Monster Hunter Ranger and gives him the power of the Moon Druid, which is fantastic. Him shifting into these powerful beast forms, the giant hawk that he always transforms into. Yeah, he could transform into a giant eagle in D&D, and he would achieve similar things. It's pretty impressive, and this magic item is why Maui is seen as a demigod. It all comes down to his equipment. But he does have some magic. As a wisdom caster, he doesn't have strong magic, because his wisdom's not that great, but he does have some. Uh, his cantrips, he has druid craft and resistance, which he gets from his druidic uh, special fighting style. He can cast speak with animals, protection from evil and good, detect magic, hunter's mark, and animal friendship. All classic ranger spells for first level. Second level, he can cast Beast Sense, Zone of Truth, Locate Object, Dark Vision, Locate Animals and Plants, Animal Messenger, and Bark Skim. This is all looking pretty standard for Maui in the sense of this is all really good magic that helps you work with nature. At level three, he can cast Speak with Plants, Magic Circle, Plant Growth, and the Daylight Spell. Maybe that's how he convinced people he moved the sun. At level 4, he can cast Locate Creature, Banishment, and Freedom of Movement. And then finally, at level 5, Commune with Nature and Hold Monster. These are all spells that kind of add up to Maui's claiming to be a demigod. In reality, he's probably just a ranger who's casting higher-level magic. This is not that crazy to imagine. So, I give Maui a pass. He's no demigod. But he is a powerful ranger with an incredible magic item. Someone who could very easily be an NPC in your campaign. Give Maui a shot. You never know what you can find when you've got someone who is both a ranger caster and is wielding the druid wild shapes due to their magic items. That's a powerful combination. And with his 25 strength, he's just tough. He's a tough character with a lot of interesting powers. Give him a shot. This has been the Relaxed Fantasy Review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and keep your eyes peeled for more character creations coming down the line soon. Have a good one, my friends.